I'm just going to bring his head around. Let that relax. A little more. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. There you go. Let it relax. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Licking and chewing. All right, babe, we're done, I think, right? So. Barry here today. Barry is a Belgian in late teens, maybe almost approaching 20. Um, Gentle Giants Draft Horse Rescue, where we're here today, was able to outbid the meat men. So uh, otherwise you might have gone to slaughter, and we're so glad you didn't because you're beautiful. Look at, here, move the camera around a minute. And I mean, look at me, I'm five foot nine. And how tall is this, okay? Really tall. Do we know how many? Do we know how many hands? Uh, he looks at least 17. 17, maybe 17 hands, 17 and a half. So we're, um, now you might notice his back left, his rear left. So he has, uh, it's a canker, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's packed right now. We're not gonna pick that leg up because it's got medicine uh, packed into the hoof. Um, but we will see if it's affecting any muscularity. Um, I'm gonna come around this way behind you, okay? And one thing you could see, maybe you could sneak back here if you feel safe enough. This, this left on the bad side is a little sunk. So hold it up high enough, and this left side where my hand is patting is a little sunk. So here, I'm gonna take this for a second. And, oh, you're right. All right, so keep that right there. And I'm gonna come around and this side is a little low. And these glutes here are a little atrophied. So that happens when you have, um, you know, we, we stand on our feet and our bodies that are on top of that feet are reflecting how the horse is gonna move, how the horse is able to deal with gravity. Quadrupeds have a lot of gravity to deal with and if you're north of 2,000 pounds, which I think Barry is, it's Barry, B-E-R-R-Y, um, you know, and this glute is a little atrophy. That will come back as his hoof heals. Actually, both glutes are. And his hips are a little tucked under. So he's a little, uh, the feet are under the pelvis. Here, I, I'll see if I can demonstrate, okay? So he's this way and the, the hips are under because he's lost some of the strength here. He's trying to go easy on that hoof. And, um, you know, one of the things I like to look at that point is I want to see if the breathing's okay. A horse needs to breathe 8 to 14 breaths per minute. And um, if he's in pain or uncomfortable, prey horses don't want to show their uncomfort, uh, you know, any, any pain or, or uh, feeling uncomfortable because they need to stay alive. So it's just ingrained in their DNA to not show pain and to not show weakness. So I'm coming down here and... So as strong as he is, look at the upper body. So as strong as this upper body is, his neck, I can't even get my arms around it. They're so huge, such a huge neck. And his forward limbs are huge, and he's huge here. And then once we get to the rear end, he just drops off. I mean, right here, right here, I can feel the edge of the pelvis right here. And he's almost like emaciated in his rear end. So that must be uncomfortable. And um, it's almost like they don't match the front end and the back end. The front end is, is like a power lifter. So I'm going to just feel some of these, the motion of these, uh, of the hip. I'm going to see if I can give them a little space in here because it's all tight. So I'm going to come down the ribs with my left hand. And I'm going to find the spot with my thumb. And that's one that makes him jump. Okay, so I come down, watch his face again. Can you bring it in? And as I come, this is gonna make him, and I'm looking at his eyes, I'm looking at his ears, and right here, it's really tender. And this is some of where the atrophy has been. It will come back. Just even being in this body is a workout. 
and I'm watching his breathing. I'm feeling the rectus abdominis. I'm going underneath. I'm feeling the uh, iliopsoas. I'm feeling the iliacus. And I'm going to be very gentle. I don't want him to get spooked by me either. I'm going to just hold this muscle now. Let me get out of the way and come up here where you'll see me better. Because he needs to see me so he doesn't get scared or suspicious by me. And I'm working this muscle. And I'm going to work it a little bit. And I'm going to wait to see him breathe. He hasn't taken a breath yet. So now I'm going to kind of, did you ever see uh, the Jaws of Life where someone gets stuck in a car and they have the thing that pries that open? So I'm going to push on the ribs and push on the pelvis and give him space here and let him lean against me like that. And look, he's licking. He likes that. He likes space there. Hi, Barry. Do you like this space? Because it's cramped, right? I'm just spreading this. And I'm waiting for him to take a breath. Take a breath for me. All right. Just holding. Holding. I'm pushing that open. I'm prying this open because it's shut down. And he's thinking about this quite a bit. You should be able to see me and then go back to him and then go to me and go back to him. I'm a little tired, Barry. You have to release and breathe soon. There you go. I feel it. Go a little more. There you go. One more. I'm almost done. Hang in there, Barry. Come on, babe. Come on. And there. Whew. How is that, Barry? All right, did you like that? Okay. What do you think of that? All right, come on over to me. So here's your pole. Here's your atlas. Coming down the neck, you got a little muscle knot here too. Do you feel that one? You're gonna, it's tender, right? Take a breath in. I'm just going to hold it gently for you. Take a breath. Okay. Put my hand up here. Bring your head towards me. A little bit more. A little uh, slack on the lead, just enough. Good. I'm holding this spot. We're going to just let to the bone shifts. Help me out, Barry. Almost done. A little more. Bring that head around. I'm watching his eyes. He's still a little suspicious. There we go. You can rub it. And there it goes. And that's what I wanted. That's a good release. I finally got to, to move. Good, right, Barry? We got it. Good licking, good chewing. All right, so that part's done. Don't get banged in the corner, Lauren. Mm -hmm. All right, so we open this up. Let's go to the other side. We're going to switch sides. I'm going to go look at the other rib cage to pelvis space. I'm going to come down these ribs. And he's got one on this side, too. So there's that reflex. What do you think of that one, Barry? Looking at me. Okay, come back this way. I'm holding this reflex on you, this little tight spot. I'm going to hold this a little longer. And now I'm going to open up with my little counter push. And I'm using his body weight to help me. So he's going to push into me. Here is the edge of the bone. And pushing, pushing. I'm not trying to push him against the wall. I'm trying to spread these things. Let me hit a reflex on the rectus abdominis. There it goes. Do you feel that jump? Right there. Try to get my hip out of the way, but do you see it jumping? You guys can see that, the twitching here when I hit this reflex. There, he's moving the leg. I'm going to do a lateral tail pull at the same time. 
which will get him to pull away from me. And I'll get him to work that muscle a little bit. Good. Pull away. Good. Now come shoot from behind. You're going to see I'm going to sway him a little bit. If you can get there safely. Good. I'm going to move these hips a little bit. Can you get behind and see that hip sway? A little bit, a little left. And now come around and see what my right hand's doing. This hand. So I'm pushing the hip and swaying, push, uh, pulling the hip and coming into here on the side of the hip, on the ilium. And there you go. Now we got this to soften up. This is all soft again. Look at this. Because this was all taut. And we want this loose. Do you feel how loose this is? Because it was in spasm. So I just loosen this up. This is good like that. Now we're going to rub the belly a little bit because we feel that that's good loving, right? And sometimes I like rubbing this hip. What do you think of the hip? Do you like the hip? What do you think of that? All right. So next, I'm feeling the glutes again, the hamstring, and here's a little bit of a butt tuck. All right. Let me get in on the, you're pinned in the corner, so don't get pinned in the corner. You okay over there, Lauren? All good, yeah. Let me feel the atlas, and we're gonna do the pole next, okay? have to do it. <clears throat> All right. I got you there, Barry. I got your, I did a right pull. All right. All right, Barry. On the TMJ. Bring your head over. See the nostrils. Look at the eye. There you go. Blink again. There you go. Now bring this head down a little bit. Bring your head down. There you go. And relax. There's the lick that we wanted. Okay. One more time. Bring the head down. Bring your head down. Bring your head down. I'm going to get my arm underneath. This is one big horse. Shoot from behind so you can see how big his head is compared to me. Okay. Now I'm on a pressure point in the front of his shoulder. I'm just going to bring his head around. Let that relax. A little more. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. There you go. Let it relax. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Licking and chewing. All right, babe. We're done, I think, right? So let, let it roll out a little bit, Gina. But we're going to end here. All right, you did good, Barry. Say goodbye to everybody. If everybody loves Barry, leave Barry a comment, okay? Because Barry reads all his comments, and he gets a little sensitive if no one leaves him a thumbs up, okay? Okay? Thanks, Barry. Come on, babe. Come on. And there. Whew. How was that, Barry? <laughs>